In my personal opinion, some of the greatest attributes that young people can have today is discipline and self-control. But the world is completely going against that and they've gone out of control. We can see this displayed on the app TikTok. It seems like every single month there's a new viral challenge on social media for kids and the current one is getting them in a lot of trouble. The latest craze is a viral TikTok trend known as Devious Licks Challenge. Middle school, high school, and college students are encouraged to act inappropriately or damage school property, then post the incident on the app. The Devious Lick Challenge is a series of challenges that centers around all types of vandalism. One man said what we're seeing across the country are students who are stealing class supplies and completely destroying bathrooms. Educators across the country are really concerned about this and they're sending out notices to parents to be aware to talk to their students, but will it really do any good? He said that the destruction of school property isn't the only thing the challenge is pushing. Some of the challenge consists of smacking teachers, exposing yourself, flipping out, and causing a ruckus in school offices. It's a list of things for upcoming months. People are urging parents to become familiar with the list of challenges and discuss these in your home. And that's exactly what I do even though my children don't look at TikTok and they don't go to public schools, but I talk to them about current events and always encourage them to display discipline and self-control in their lives. This is a really major concern for a lot of people because a lot of these challenges are considered assault, vandalism, and indecent exposure, which are against the law. But what we see displayed in society is a bunch of people that are going against what God said. But I remember a story about vandalism in the Word of God by a young man named Gideon, and he went and he destroyed the groves, the high places, and the idols of false gods. And that's what our young people need to do today, is take a look at things that go against God's law and God's Word and are displeasing to God and destroy them and leave other people's property alone. Sometimes we have to look down inside of ourselves. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffereth violence and the violent taketh by force. We need to destroy these strongholds, educate our children by the word of God, and display a good example in front of them of self-control and self-discipline. So encourage your children, don't go along with the crowd, but follow after God.